Welcome to the Love and Lattes podcast, a coffee lover's guide to good vibes, books, rom-coms, and everything in between. Now grab some coffee and let's get chatting. Hey everyone, it's Betsy, host of Love and Lattes podcast. I wanted to jump in really quickly and do kind of an episode recap of When Calls the Heart's latest episode, it's October 8th, so it just came out. It is Season 10, Episode 11, titled Long Time Running. I thought it was appropriate to do a reaction, I guess, video because it was a bombshell of an episode that I think nobody was expecting. It almost feels like a season finale episode, so this is quite shocking. So just right off the bat, Elizabeth and Lucas they broke up. They are not together anymore, which is a complete change of direction for her character and for where the show was going. As we know, a couple of seasons ago, they had a huge like realization moment, especially Elizabeth, that she loved Lucas. And that was the man for her when it came down to choosing between Nathan and Lucas. And there was this grand kiss on the bridge and it was fireworks and a huge moment because Lucas was the man she picked instead of Nathan. Now in this episode, the second to last episode of season 10, Elizabeth calls off her engagement to Lucas in a shocking fashion. She didn't leave him at the altar, but she left him at the train station as he was headed off to accept his nomination for running for governor. So a lot happened that I did not see coming. Maybe somebody else did. However, there have been signs throughout the season that Elizabeth was hesitant to maybe marry Lucas. She was not excited about the wedding plans. When Rosemary would bring it up, she was distracted. So her mind has been elsewhere. She's been having cold feet. And it was probably, I guess, better if she was feeling this way to not go through with the wedding with Lucas, although I know he was so hurt. But as her aunt said early on in season 10, that he was a man meant for a larger stage. And I think this season has come to show that I'm sure he will win the race for governor and save Hope Valley along with the other surrounding valleys in the area. Man, what an episode. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on the separation, the breakup of Lucas and Elizabeth, and if you think she will end up with Nathan, or if she should stay single for a while and kind of wrap her head around what she's feeling. Nothing wrong with being a single mom and just doing it on your own and just living your life that way. That is a fantastic choice if she decides to do that. But I'm just curious what you're thinking. Please leave a comment. Let me know. Also, we had a really sweet moment with Henry and baby Goldie. I just think that is so good for him, healing his heart and holding new life in his hands. And then we have May and Hickam having some cute moments in their budding romance, which was sweet. But my goodness, I feel like that was basically the episode was this time all about Lucas and Elizabeth and her coming to terms with how she's really feeling and... Rosemary helping her see that. It makes you wonder if Chris McNally, who plays Lucas Bouchard, pursuing other opportunities outside of One Calls the Heart and maybe chasing different roles or projects outside of Hallmark Channel. And that's maybe why they're taking this direction with the show and his character. And we won't see his character for a long time, maybe ever again. As a lot of you know, if you follow the show for 10 years now, Jack Thornton, his character was killed off when Daniel Lissing had decided to pursue other opportunities. This is definitely less shocking than that and less traumatic. That was something uh, to deal with if you were a fan. But here we are. And who knows what will happen in the season finale. I'd love to hear your thoughts and predictions. So comment with those below as well. And Make sure to tune in for next week's episode. There's also tons of interviews with When Calls the Heart actors on the channel. I will link that in the description. So give those a watch. There's an interview with Kevin McGarry, Amanda Wong, Vienna Leacock just was on the show. 
Andrea Brooks, Kayla Wallace, Viv Gleacock, and Natasha Burnett. So plenty of plenty of your favorite When Calls the Heart actors. So I'm with you, Hardies. I'm taking this wild roller coaster ride with you, and I can't wait to see what happens. Thank you so much for listening to the Love and Lattes podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of all the new episodes. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for listening to the Love and Lattes podcast. Have a great day.